out. Video shows an officer holding Alvarado with his knee on Alvarado's back. Tucson firefighters said he was well enough to be taken to jail. Then someone noticed he'd stopped breathing. Police and then firefighters gave CPR, but Alvarado was pronounced dead at the hospital. An autopsy called his death an accident from methamphetamines and a heart condition. TPD ruled the officer's actions complied with department policy, but their harsh language is under review. Police say in September 2012, they found Delbert, Germany, in convulsions. Police say they restrained him, but put him in a position to avoid more injuries. He went into cardiac arrest. He was taken to the hospital, but died there a week later. Investigators concluded drug abuse contributed to his death. They found police blameless. Police say in March of 2012, Michael Carbone ran to a Circle K after fighting with his wife. Officers say he fought back when they tried to detain him. Officers say they used a taser three times. When firefighters arrived, they found Carbone's heart had stopped. A doctor at UMC pronounced the man dead. We did not see in the reports whether police were cleared or disciplined in the death. In August of 2010, police say they found Benjamin Sotelo acting hysterical. Officers say he fought with them as they tried to keep him from hurting himself, but they did not use dangerous neck holds. Paramedics took him to a hospital where he died. The doctor blamed the death on cocaine and alcohol and the effect of being restrained. Craig Smith, K-Gun 9, on your side.